we will introduce the design point for water thermal storage system. This method can be applied large scale buildings. This is the sample schematic for thermal storage system. Here is primary size include thermal storage tank and heat source equipment. Here is secondary size include air handling unit or fan coil units. Let's confirm some basic design consideration as standard. We shall consider contamination prevention, maintenanceability, trackability and so on. 1. Primary site shall be use variable flow system or three-way valve system. 2. Secondary site shall be considered variable flow system. 3. Secondary site shall be considered heat exchanger and closed type piping. 4. When use modular type of chiller or boiler, shall be considered reverse return piping or constant flow control valve to equalize the amount of water in each module. Next, we will explain the design step for water thermal storage system. First, calculate heat load. Check pit space. If not enough in current planning, we should coordinate with civil team. Fix operation time. Temporary select chiller or boiler capacity. Hourly heat balance calculation. Temporary select the capacity of thermal storage tank based on that. Check tank space. And then, check night shift ratio. Thermal storage system is the method to reduce daytime peaks load by using reasonable electric power at night. Therefore, we decided to adopt thermal storage system when 30% or more of the load can be shifted to night time. If OK, fix the capacity for chiller, boiler and storage tank. Next, we introduce key formula for design. 1. Daily heat load Qt. Simply said, Qt is the summary load for each hour. But we can calculate heat load only for 9, 12, 14, 16 o'clock. Therefore, it can be estimated using the following formula. Two storage capacity HR. We can calculate from this formula. K6, K7, K8 is the factor for each. Q is daily heat load. N1 is heat storage operation time. Normally, it's 10 hours. N2 is chase operation time. If chase operation time is short, thermal storage tank will be bigger. Three capacity of thermal storage tank. Capacity of thermal storage tank to be calculated by this formula. The formula looks complicated, but it means, the load that cannot be covered by the heat source equipment during the daytime is covered by thermal storage tank. Four, night shift rate on peak days. This is the judgment formula. As explained, if less than 30%, shall be reconfirm storage system or select non-storage system. Then, we will read through the design considerations. 5. Chiller, boiler and thermal storage tank shall be selected based on heat load by peak day. 6. Operation and shutdown time for chiller and boiler shall be considered the characteristic of daily heat load. 7. Chiller and boiler to be considered operation as heat storage operation and chase operation. Generally, heat storage operation time is 10 hours. It's from 22 to 8 o'clock. Let's reconfirm the concept of the thermal storage tank in the graph. Air conditioning time is 8 to 17 o'clock. And there is the curve for daily heat load. Chiller or boiler capacity to be selected based on the peak load. Therefore, it become large capacity equipment like an arrow. So, we divide the daily heat load like this and shift heat load in night time. In that case, we can reduce peak load like that. So, we can select smaller capacity of equipment. 
if put each name of operations, heat storage operation in night time, heat dissipation operation in daytime, chase operation together with heat dissipation in daytime, and then covered all of heat load with thermal storage tank. We can say that this is peak shift. Another concept, this is peak cut. Okay, we will continue design considerations. 8. If underground double slabs are used for the heat storage tank, shall we install communicating pipe? 9. Communicating pipes are provided on the top, bottom, left, and right for each layer of thermal storage tank. 10 and more, shall be provided vent pipe, drain pipe, overflow pipe, manhole. Eleven, the lower communicating pipe should be installed lower side as much as possible. The upper communication pipe should be installed below water surface always. Twelve, the opening of the communicating pipe shall be chamfered to make smooth flow. 13. Do not install other purpose pipes inside thermal storage tank. 14. Generally, manhole to be installed all of the thermal storage tank and pit. 15. Pump shall be installed below water surface. We said it's positive suction. If become negative suction, shall we install a foot valve to prevent falling water for suction. And also consider water balance to prevent dry running pump due to the gap of capacity. 16. To be installed water meter and manual valve for makeup water line. Ball tap shall not used. In addition, makeup water shall be installed on the high temperature tank side. It's mean, to be consider makeup water in starting tank for chilled water case. 17. Shall be install insulation for thermal storage tank as per below. Especially, we need consider waterproof in tank beam and ceiling if use hot water. 18. Finally, we introduce the size selection method for communicating pipe. 18. The diameter of the communication pipe shall be fixed as per the following. 1. Water level difference between steering tank and end tank is 200 mm or less. 2. Flow speed through the communication pipe is 0.1 to 0.3 m per sec. Generally 0.2 m per sec. We can use fig. 3 to 12 for selection. First, put 0.2 m per sec like this. This time we assume 300 liter per minutes for each communication pipe. Then select larger side, so we can get 200 diameter. Thank you for watching this movie. We will provide useful information for M&A design practice in this channel. See you again in next movies.